The third version of Grok, an artificial intelligence chatbot that can work integrated with X, has been released. So how is it? Is it better than the others? Grok 3. First of all, the response engine is incredibly fast. If you are dealing with high token numbers, summarizing and shortening texts such as huge PDFs, you can save a lot of time because its only competitor in terms of scaling and speed is Gemini. Gemini is still, as you know, insistently holding his right ear with his left hand, not his right hand. So Grok is more useful for now. For those who don't know, what he did is similar to Elon Musk, who plowed a field and planted potatoes with a Pagani, not a Lamborghini, and then said, what do you need a tractor for? And lit a cigarette. One, but we are getting the fruits of it. Cross attention is quite successful. While getting answers between complex languages and coding in any way, OpenAI and Claude suddenly switched to English, Chinese, etc. From time to time, while Grok does not bounce at all. If it is Turkish, it is Turkish. If it is English, it is English. In the end, it gives you the results in whichever language you want to get results in. I like that he understands the subject and sticks to the subject. Two, let's come. Reasoning. To the difference with Deep Seek, which is taking the world by storm. I must say it is very successful. It is a pleasure to watch the flood of thoughts flowing from the screen. It tries to separate your prompt down to the smallest token and put it back together in a meaningful way. I had a messy project with very high tensors that I was stuck with. I was curious about the causalization interpretation because I used it in all models. It really breaks down your problems as deductive, inductive, and gives very accurate answers by analytically asking itself questions. OpenAI was successful in semantic approach to understand the user. Grok is not lacking in this, I can say that. So it is certain that it will get you to the conclusion you want to reach one way or another. Three, deep search, 100 out of 100. I love the Grok search engine. Deep search pulls information from the world's media and translates it for you. Four, analysis power, it produces very simple and effective results. OpenAI always seemed to me to have more potential power, but they didn't publish it anyway. When DeepSeek was successful, they released the O3 mini models in a hurry. I didn't get much efficiency. Grok can at least use its huge weight processing power for analysis and give detailed results, which is nice, especially the fact that it sometimes explains the mathematical formula background of even the simplest operations very useful in terms of learning. Five, creativity. It's my fine line. I say it everywhere. You can try it yourself. Gemini is better than all models when you expect something like finding a creative name, developing a creative idea, use your imagination, change your perspective, approach differently, try it and you'll see. Google, I still have no idea how it does it, can process vectors and give creative results. I've gotten out of difficult situations thanks to this feature, but other features are rubbish. I tried the same process in Grok. The results were definitely not as good as their remarkable Google products. If you want a creative approach, just to ask for an opinion, maybe you'll get lucky. Six, code force. DeepSeek still has its own unique and surprising up-to-dateness. In coding, it can immediately suggest you the latest library versions. It can add innovative functions, for example. Grok is behind, but we can't say that it can't code at all. There are just some shortcomings, simplifications. In summary, should we buy Grok 3? Should we abandon other models? It's not the best model, that's for sure. Elon Musk may have used the best technology, but his counterparts are more advanced in the R&D part of the business. Based on all the features it currently has, if you don't have previous experience with AI agents, Grok is a full AI assistant. It can produce results very quickly, it can be partially creative, it can produce solutions, and it can approach analytically. OpenAI still maintains its know-how because the O3 Pro model has not been announced. We don't know what it can do, 
The O3 Mini models are a complete fiasco. But still, considering the OpenAI R&D experience, I wouldn't close my membership and switch to Grok. Claude, on the other hand, is a complete Japanese ARB. It never leaves you on the road, especially for coding. It fixed bugs that other models could not understand in a strange way. There is a separate training on coding data. It is both not very up-to-date and limited, but for example, it gives you the X request you want without getting stuck. It also attracts a nice team from most companies. It has a working discipline.